In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your tax settings in Google Merchant Center. Google has different tax requirements depending on where your business is located. Keep in mind that the taxes that you actually have to pay are based on many different factors. That's outside the scope of this video, so make sure to speak to a professional tax advisor. But we're gonna talk about Merchant Center and setting up our taxes there. Google sees the world as three separate regions, the United States, Canada, and the rest of the world. We can cover Canada and the rest of the world because there's very little to change there. For Canada, you don't have to set anything up, but you can't include taxes as part of the purchase price. The taxes must be visible as a separate charge on the checkout page. That's it. For the rest of the world, it's even easier. Simply confirm that you're not in the US and Google will assume that any taxes you're required to pay are included in the final product price. Now, let's cover the United States. The tax requirements for the US are a bit more complicated because of the differing state tax regulations. It can also change depending on your business and your products. So this is where a professional tax advisor is essential. You can set up the tax rates you need to collect at the account level, which is what we're going to do here, or at the product level in your product feed. The tax rates the shopper is shown here must match or exceed what the shopper is actually charged at checkout. This is a strictly enforced rule of Google that you don't want to be on the wrong side of. There are three taxation scenarios available for US businesses. One, standard tax rate by state. This is a common scenario where you might be selling products to all states, but you're only charged for taxes to customers in your state. For example, if you're in Florida and you're selling to New York, you might not have to collect the sales taxes. But if you have customers in Florida, you do need to collect that sales tax. In this case, simply go to the sales tax link in the tools menu, then select Florida, and then you can let Google determine the sales tax since Google keeps it up to date when it changes, or you can manually set it. Next, we have flat rate. This is applicable to businesses operating in origin-based states. This means that the tax is collected based on the seller's state not the buyers. In this case, you'll simply want to choose all the states and apply your required sales tax rate to each state. Next, we have custom tax rate. This is where you're selling a product that comes under a different tax rate than the regular state sales tax. Simply apply the rate in the manual setup field. Be sure to save. That's how you set up your account level tax information in Google Merchant Center. If you have special tax rates based per product or per state, you can handle those by creating special tax categories and adding them to your product feed. I'll leave some resources below this video showing you how to do this. If you're watching this video on YouTube, this is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. It shows you how to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns. It's 100% free with no sign up required. I'll leave a link down below so you can go and check that out. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.